What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Wow, the week has just flew by. It's Thursday, November 30th, 2023. 10.15 in the morning. Heading to our next service call, which is in the incorporated village of Woodsburg. Woodsburg is part of the five towns in southwestern Nassau County on Long Island in the great state of New York. We have a new client that we just visited the other day. He's got a massive, massive single pipe steam system with some problematic radiators. Now granted, a lot of the radiators the air valve, those little silver things, well, things are normally silver on the side of each radiator. Well, let's just say a few of them are painted over. Placed 11 out of 14 air valves on steam radiators. We're in the basement. And that's where it got fun. This was a steam main air valve. It broke off out of the two and a half by three quarter steam T at that end. And you would think that I screwed myself. But I didn't. I took a Di Diablo metal blade and I used my grinder and cut it in half. That way it can shove it inside the remaining threads that are up there. I also cut it back. It was a long one, cut it in half. And we're gonna use that. We have some caping tools right here. Little chisels if you wanna call them that. Well, not this one. This is the real deal. Special shout out to Scott in East Rockaway who sent this to me. Well, actually gave it to me when we put in his boiler. That was a nice looking boiler. Let's get to work. Hi. We are now going to cut that. spray foam. All right, we have a nice solid cut there. It would be nicer if my battery was almost dead. And there's the other. As you can see, I have one cut there, one cut there, and not much left to chew onto this. We'll see, wish me luck. All right, I've been tapping at that and it finally moved. I cut more into the remaining threads. Hopefully it doesn't bite me in the ass, but then again, we can always use some lamp wick and some mega lock to try to seal that up, but I'm gonna carefully keep going at this and pull it out. Just in case you're wondering, there are two pieces. None of it fell inside the abyss. You can call that a black hole. That's very scary though, the amount of threads that I cut through there, but they say there is a God and I believe it. Let's see if this works. All right, I got the new steam main installed. It's very suspect, but in testing, we found other problems. Our Burnham Independence IN7 gas fired boiler is either short cycling or it's surging. Well, it's definitely surging because our water in our water column, Cyclass, is rapidly boiling off. Our pressure gauge is 
I don't know, on another planet. And I just took off the pressure troll after turning off the power, moving the two wires. And you can see we got water in that pigtail, which means we got a clogged pigtail. Watch this. So there it is. And as you can see, there's water in that pigtail. It sure is. Now, if you want to see something out of Dexter, watch this. Yeah, this is a, <laughs> a cellar. Well, after you're done chopping them up, you can rinse them off. Let's see if we can rinse off if there's running water here. And sure enough, there is. Look at that. But we do have a clogged pigtail here. See? She's clogged. Look, I'll even blow it on it for you. I ain't scared to put it in my mouth. <coughs> She's clogged. Which means we are not having pressure control like we need to. And we're going to replace this instead of trying to clear it out because I'm not sitting here forever. Anyway, I'm draining down the boiler from there. From there, the low water cutoff. Why there is redundancy here with a mechanical number 67. Is that a 67? And the probe style. I don't know. But I'm going to take water from there and shove it in there because pressing this button is the definition of insanity. I think, think I'm gonna do this in a rapidly fashion. All right, I rigged that to work. My boiler valve on the right side is closed. Uh, that's open, that's open. This is hooked up to my cold water. I want, you, I want to send it hot water. I wanna to try to power flush this bad boy. Um, I'm adding water right now from the water heater. You see that invisible check valve? That's to protect the water from the water heater. And we're gonna fill up the boiler. I wanna try to get rid of as much as the brown out of this. I'm gonna fill it up. It's probably right around there. And I wanna try to get as clean as possible and as quickly as possible because in the service business, this is not a flat rate job. This is a time material job. I wanna get out of here in a cost effective manner, achieving the goal of anti-short cycled boiler. All right, I've been here quite some time, but I did accomplish a few things. Number one, we replaced all of the steam radiator air valves with the exception of three that were new. I uh, adjusted the slide on the very valve based on not only distance from the boiler, but size of the radiator. Then we had a surging issue. So what I did was I drained the boiler several times. I hooked up my hose with a check valve to prevent a contamination of the, pub, of the drinking water supply. <laughs> hooked up to there and I rapidly add water instead of holding that button in. Drained multiple times with the five gallon bucket to that pit right there. Added my Surge X. It's great stuff, guys. It's really, really great stuff. Some of you think, Mikey, but if you don't, you don't, you don't know how to purge, what's wrong, don't know how to, don't know how to skim a boiler. Come on, man, it's plumbing 101. Eh, we'll go play in traffic. But I added two Surge X's, and well, guess what? All our radiators are nice and hot, and that looks radioactive lime green. Like the episode of The Simpsons, you know? That water in the nuclear power plant next door with the three-eyed fish. Okay, and if I pop that open, right, my low water cutoff activated because that got sensed that. And we're going to fire back up, but not surging. And are they hot? Two aren't. Two aren't? Which one? Daughter's room and the son's room? No, bathroom and bathroom. Two bathrooms? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. We uh, have a number of clients that have steam heating systems in their home in the area. Um, and we're all quite, quite, quite experienced with solving any problem, whether it's the banging, the water pouring out of the steam radiator valves, air valves, um, radiators not heating up, what have you. So if you have a steam heating system and you live in the area, give me a call, 516-348-6300. Um, or if you prefer, you would like a virtual consultation by um, Zoom or FaceTime, you can book an appointment online with me right now on my website at pipedoc.net. Click the little button at the bottom of the screen for book online, and you can have 30 minutes of my time by video consultation 
for $125. Plus tax if you live in the state of New York. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Want to give a huge shout out to House Call Pro. House Call Pro has really simplified not only my job, but my entire team's job, right? We can easily identify if a customer has a service agreement. We can easily sell a service agreement, maintenance agreement to a new customer or an existing customer. We can pull previous history from that customer. What's even best that my office staff really, really appreciates is that the data of the invoice and the payment automatically syncs with QuickBooks. What beats that, ladies and gentlemen? Check out House Cult Pro. There's a link in the description box down below. Tell Mikey Pipe sent you, and they'll give me an attaboy. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, be well, God bless, stay safe.